dear students this is sundar ravindranathan here uh, i am back today with uh, you know an amazing video a question which runs in all our minds most of the time see let me give you a scenario right you are playing say uh, video games when you suddenly realize it is time to start and sit and start your revision how do you feel okay let me give you another scenario where you are playing cricket in the field and you your mom or dad calls that it's time please start come and start studies how do you feel right let me give you one more scenario you are watching an amazing very interesting cricket match okay and uh, suddenly you got, get a call from your uh, probably a tuition teacher saying that uh, yeah we are waiting please come fast how do you feel right i am sure the answer is going to be oh i feel you know really 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 kind of frustrated right why is that why is that I mean we always we always love games and uh, you know to an extent you know i am not studies to the same extent i okay let me put it in another way why do we all love games all right uh, in such a manner wherein we don't really you know like studies equally well all right let me put it this way why do we all love games and not studies the same way and don't really love studies the same way right so this is a this is something that we need to think deeper is it not right today in this session i have traveled deeper i'm going to take you through the deeper aspects of why do we love games to a great extent and not studies to the same extent all right okay i hope you guys are curious hey guys by the way i <clears throat> i hope you guys uh, enjoyed the quiz that we ran uh, last weekend did you okay if not guys please join this weekend probably we'll run it on the saturday again so we will have an amazing quiz again now let's come back so are you guys also liking the videos posted by vedantu young wonders on a daily basis please hit the like button please ensure that you subscribe to vedantu young wonders and enable this notification icon the bell icon so that you are notified our for our daily videos right guys and uh, guys i hope all of you are also aware that we are starting an academic sprint today so you will have the entire you know syllabus revision we are starting with the science sprint today so every day you will find one day from monday to saturday one video on you know science all the three put together you will find entire science for class 6 7 and 8 happening so make use of the sprint guys uh, it is the ent you know wonderful team of vedantu young wonders the teachers who are going to take the sprint okay okay let's come back so my dear student this is the team of vedantu young wonders pritesh sir kumar manu sir Navamita ma'am and myself Sundar Ramindranathan and these are the subjects that we handle so you will find that Pritesh sir and Navamita ma'am would start the sprint today okay so participate in full numbers make use of it okay we are also in telegram just install the telegram app type vedantu young wonders you will get the group click on that and click join group and you are there connected with us excellent now let us go on to the first reason why we love games and not to an equal extent studies what is the first reason to us sport is always sportive learning is not studies is not what do we mean by that sport whether you you know uh, you win or lose you don't mind right because that's sportive attitude and that's how sport goes but wherein in studies your mind always perceives that you have to win otherwise you are a failure in life if you don't win in studies that puts a lot of pressure on you expectation and pressure mounts on you which makes you feel a kind of desperation and boredom and this is one reason you don't take studies in a sportive way you take sports in a sportive way i hope you agree with me on this is that a yes okay second many a time sport is except for a few sport all sports are collaborative in nature that is you play as a group whenever mind feel you know you feel that uh, there are people around you you feel a lot happier 
because that's human nature right man is a social animal when you when you find people around you you know uh, with the same motive to play you find a lot lot happier wherein in studies it doesn't happen many a times you study alone unless you do group studies unless you have a companion is it not so this is the second reason so i repeat in sports sport most of the sports are collaborative that is team based people around you are there you play as a game you know team win as a team even if you lose as a team it's okay but in studies you don't feel like that mind never perceives anything like that this is the second very very deeper reason what is the third reason psychologically mind feels a lot fresh when things are not static there is a lot of movement a lot of changes here in sports most of the sports when would involve movements agreed you can't play a sport just standing in one place is it not even if it is chess or carrom you will find that your hands move agreed right sports involves a lot of kinesthesis which is movement which will not happen in studies your mind feels a lot lot fresh when there is movement okay guys i hope you got it excellent now let us move on to the next reason you relate you view yourself winning or losing in studies to your career if i don't study now something is going to happen in my future okay if i win now something is going to happen for my future positively you start relating all outcomes of your studies on a, on a long term but if you lose a game in sports would you relate that to a long term you don't you don't do that so mind unnecessarily exerts a lot of pressure by relating your academic outcomes to your long term career i hope you are able to understand what i am saying to put it simple mind starts relating with uh, you know you are winning or losing to your future so that is the reason it gets pressurized whenever there is stress and pressure happiness is out of picture right okay yeah variety whenever there is variety you will find that in sports right the sport remains but players keep changing every round you play in even in cricket or anywhere you find that see there are cricketers who play cricket for 15 20 years how is that they are able to say assume that they have to play with the same people the entire 20 years they will feel a lot of boredom but players keep changing all right but sport remains but in studies student is the same syllabus or curriculum is the same and you know that everything is very static nothing is changing oh same chapters of you know math same chapters of physics mind start perceiving unless you are superb when it comes to your perception of your academic stuff okay mind feels that nothing is changing my god it's boring this is one reason so for all the reasons that i am giving there is a solution inside it find the solution you will find that you are able to handle these issues much much easily right guys so variety is the space of life whenever there is no changes everything is static boredom comes okay in in sports players change keep changing but the sport remains right okay all right now finally there is also some science behind what is the science the science is oxygen many at times when you play a sport except for some very very you know sedentary uh, games wherein you you play you know uh, or you sit in a place except for those such things you will always find that the inflow of oxygen is very very high right and when there is more oxygen there is more energy when there is more energy you find you feel a lot refreshed my dear students i hope you are understanding most of the field games when you play the, you find that though you run a lot you know you will start feeling more fresher and not tired inflow of oxygen increases your freshness freshness and focus towards the game and you start enjoying it okay when you sit in a place there is no oxygen oxygen start getting exhausted in fact and you start feeling 
bored, tired, mentally more. You got it, guys? So, my dear students, these are some of the reasons. I think I have given some five or six reasons why. All right, we love games more, sports more than studies. Okay? So, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. My dear students, Vedantu has launched for your revision, for this revision season, a lot of micro courses. Micro courses are chapter wise revision courses. All right, the video modules that will be given to you. Complete chapter revision, unlimited. You know, you will find that the formula and uh, concepts are covered. The entire sum chapter is summarized and you will find in class quizzes revision happening. As low as just 11 rupees. This is the link for the, all the micro courses. vdnt.in slash ytmicro. And go to this, more than 250 courses are there, make use of them. Okay? Excellent. All right, we have also launched someone who wants to study live for a detailed, uh, you know, in a detailed way, entire syllabus revision. With Vedantu has launched crash courses for you. And the crash courses come to as low as 2850. Less than half of the price that we had earlier. So this is the link for the course. vdnt.in slash yt6cc for 6th grade crash course. I repeat vdnt.in slash yt6cc 7cc for 7th grade yt8cc for 8th grade these are the three links for 6th grade 7th grade and 8th grade crash courses respectively my dear students make use of it the courses are coming at very very cheap prices 2850 for the entire syllabus revision it happens for almost what uh, the, over the next two months or so right Excellent, my dear students. So thank you so much. A big thank you once again. It's been quite some time, but still, we you are the reason for it. Vedantu has won the User's Choice App Award for 2019. And it's all because of you. So my dear students, please ensure you subscribe to Vedantu. You know, uh, Young Wonders by clicking on the subscribe icon in the video. Ensure the, you enable the bell icon. And you hope you like the video. Hit the like button. Right? Thank you so much for watching my dear students until I meet you in the next video. Right, this is me Sundar Rabindranath and signing off guys. Bye bye.